the energies that you run into when you take LSD, the visions that you get, are not supernatural and they're not pathological. These are ancient biological messages which are stored in your nervous system and in the cells of your body. When you take LSD, you go out of your mind. You go beyond words, you go beyond symbols, you go beyond the 20th century, because 99% of your brain doesn't know that you or the 20th century exists. Namaste. I salute the God within you. Drugs were the taboo in the, uh, in the 60s and 70s. Dying is now taboo. No one wants to think about it. It's exciting. Uh, it's the most important decision you make in your life. It's the how and when and how, with whom and why you die. You have to arrange your dying, design for dying, dignify dying, design it. And get your friends involved. And uh, the taboo, come on. Do you believe that there is inevitable evolution of the, of the soul? Oh yeah, I use the word soul to describe the brain. I don't think the DNA has given us this brain with the... <clears throat> 120 billion neurons in each neuron. We're not using them. We all know that. And I think that, yes, in the, the future of the human species is to learn how to use our brain. Do you think there's a, a potential for... By the way, that's nothing new. I'm right. saying it was said that depends it. The purpose of human life is to learn how to die in consciousness and change. I'm saying the same thing in the more technical uh, uh, language of the 20th century. And when you get to be about 50, uh, I'm not advocating dying, but I think you should start planning and thinking. It becomes a, a very thrilling frontier. And it's the most important thing you do in your life, to die. Tim, just like you communicated to people who were, like me, an atheist in 1963, and I became, in quotes, a spiritual person. At the first LSD trip, I saw such sights and I felt such feelings that I was no longer an atheist and since then no longer an atheist no no do you think you believe in a higher power huh yes I do what's her name it's a mystery I, I, well, it's, it's, yes the mystery is also the, the duty of your life if you want to really live is to find out and make your own version you know make it happen his end was very noble actually he, he really I, I was in touch with him very much toward the end. And I think the last person he spoke to that he recognized on the phone was William Burroughs. He said, oh, Bill, I love you. And um, Burroughs said, I love you too.